What up, Baltimore? <laughs> Tribute still pouring in for Mo Gabba, the young Baltimore sports fan who stole the city's heart. He passed away yesterday, only 14 years old after a lifelong fight with cancer. The Orioles say Mo was one of the most passionate and devoted fans in franchise history. So Mo was diagnosed with retinoblastoma at the age of nine months. And the only reason why I was able to notice because of a picture, usually when people have a, a red eye in the picture, it's his was white. So we went to the pediatrician, ophthalmologist, and then we ended up at Hopkins and they told us that it was bilateral retinoblastoma. Since then, numerous radiation treatments, lots and lots of chemo, many surgeries and and all through that, Mo kept a smile on his face. <laughs> he kept a smile on his face. He was a light unlike anything I've ever seen. There are wonderful, you come in, across wonderful people all the time. And, and you try to be a good person. But this was the person that had been given the least and made the most of it. You, you couldn't be around Mo without wanting to be around Mo more just the impact um, that I think Mo had on all of us will continue to live on. Um, and that's our job, uh, you know, after meeting him and being able to get to know him is to continue to spread what his light was um, to others through our actions, through the way we meet other kids, you know, and uh, find opportunities to, to kind of highlight them just like we would Mo um, and make sure that they all feel included and loved from the Ravens. The decision was made to, to kind of make it an award that was a national award. Our goal is to A, uh, continue Mo's legacy um, for years upon years upon years to come. We want people 45 years from now to, to be able to know who Mo Gabba was and how important he was to this Baltimore community, um, as well as um, just being able to way to shine light on some, some children across the country that are really going through some struggles, but they're bringing that positive attitude, they're bringing that uh, courage that we, we look for in, in our players when they're elected for the Unlock Courage Award, but now it's uh, in the children that we're supporting uh, year round. You know, we want to make sure that, that we spread it out to all the Courage Houses because what makes the Baltimore Courage House better or different than the one up in New York or Philly or D.C., you know? All these kids are kids that are fighting the struggle, you know, so let's open it up to every Courage House. So for us, you know, we work very closely with St. Vincent's House, um, and I know that they're an Ed Block Courage partner and work with the Ed Block Foundation, but I think just having a close relationship with those kids and seeing the opportunities that, you know, they're provided because of the support through the Ed Block Foundation and opportunities to connect with teams, you know, like the Ravens has really just kind of given them some incredible support and great opportunities and just a lot of love that, you know, sometimes these kids need a little bit of extra of and, and we're happy to be able to give it to them. Mo Gabba is a super fan. He, he embodied what it means to have energy and fight and spirit and to cheer no matter what, whether the team was winning or losing. And for us, he was the, the Bill Hagee, the Wild Bill Hagee super fan. He earned that title. He connected with the players. He connected with the fans. He connected with all of our team members here that work every day. And just what he brought with his sense of fun, the sensitivity ha he had for others, the way he loved his mom, Sanzi, it was very inspirational for all of us. And, and we were just really proud to give him that honor. Oh, epitomized what the Ed Black Courage Award Foundation stands for. 
It's, uh, it's about showing inspiration to peers uh, across the country by hearing Mo's story and hearing, understanding what he went through, but was still uh, that special person. I'm always like happy all the time and I like to make, and I, and I like, and I laugh all the time and I make people laugh too. He by far was the most optimistic person you ever meet on this earth. It's like, given what he had to go through, he heard the bad news, he was like, okay, what's next? What else do we gotta do? Oh, we'll get through this, we got through this, we'll get through something else. Like, he never gave up. When there's really special people like Mo, you try to uncover every opportunity you can. And I think Mo was, you know, just an incredible person that all of us were ready to jump and give everything we had to help. I try to be more and more like Mo because I, that's, to me, that's the epitome of what we should be as human beings. And I think my co-host said it best. If we all had a little bit more Mo Gabba inside us, the world would be a much, much better place. It feels like he's still with us. And it's interesting because during games, sometimes um, we'll be standing in the booth and looking out and see the sun um, and the sky and the orange and purple that happen. And we often say, Mo's here. We invited Mo and his family to come join us because we wanted to present a framed copy of the, the cover of the magazine that he was gonna be on. I meet him and we, we talk for a little while and all of a sudden I notice him grabbing from my hand and I, I hold hands with them. And I'm telling you, as I'm trying to relay it to you, I'm almost getting, it's the single most powerful thing I ever felt in my entire life. letting you know you guys you yeah, gotta stay safe we'll get through this just like every other time we have to go through this nonsense <laughs> anyway talk to you guys later